CD52 normally sits on the surface of cells, immune cells, uh, and we haven't previously known what it does, but we have found that uh, when T cells in the immune system are activated, they release CD52, and CD52 then dampens down the activity of other immune cells, including T cells. So this CD52 mechanism, uh, when we block it, in an animal model uh, of type 1 diabetes. The animals rapidly develop type 1 diabetes and we found that in humans who are at risk for type 1 diabetes that they have a deficiency of the cells that make the CD52 factor that causes the, the dampening down of the immune response. So we think this mechanism is not only just there in the background to dampen down cells, but without it, the immune system may get away and cause uh, autoimmune disease. So that immediately suggests that CD52 as a, as a molecule is a potentially very important therapeutic agent that might help us prevent and treat autoimmune diseases like type 1 diabetes or others, other autoimmune diseases like multiple sclerosis or rheumatoid arthritis, inflammatory bowel disease, and so on. There are dozens of autoimmune diseases, but um, the principles are the same for all of them. Well, in Australia, approximately 120,000 people have type 1 diabetes. So in type 1 diabetes, it's an immune disease or an autoimmune disease because the body's own immune system is attacking part of the body itself. Uh, and it results in a lot loss of insulin and therefore higher levels of glucose in the blood. Uh, type 1 diabetes is a really bad disease to have because it often starts in children, more often, uh, and uh, it really um, makes life incredibly difficult for the sufferer and his or her family. Well, my ultimate goal is to uh, prevent and ultimately cure type 1 diabetes because uh, I think uh, that's a disease that can be prevented. And we know that in animal models of this disease, we can prevent and cure the disease. So it gives me great hope that that will be translatable into humans, and hopefully in the not too distant future.